driver, Steve Harwood, Nitro Hemi. I'm from Pleasant Hill, California. I'm here to win this race, go some rounds, and hopefully that good mojo will spread over to my Los Angeles Rams. Tyler Hilton, Great Expectations 3, Nostalgia Top Fuel Dragster. We're from Cincinnati, Ohio. We've been doing a lot of traveling, a lot of driving with the truck and trailer, and at this point, man, I'm just living on tall coffees and some bananas. First up, we have Dusty Green and Tyler Hilton, two of the young guns, if you will, youngish anyway, in the sport. Absolutely, you know, and Tyler's in the Jim and Allison Lee car, and it's, uh, you know, they're, they're still finding the tune-up. It's a tough first round for them. Dusty is, it's a team without a big budget. Dusty and his team have to overcome that, and it's not like Tyler Hilton, like they're over there spending $2 million to run their car either, so it, it is kind of a level playing field, but in terms of experience, in the driver's seat, you know, you have to say Dusty Green is, is the guy. Well, Tyler Hilton doesn't have the experience that Dusty Green has, and as you mentioned earlier, Dusty Green has experience in, in a variety of mediums, not the least of which is a sprint car, which I think really can inform how to drive a front engine fueler. Absolutely, because it, you know, people don't really see drag racing as something that requires a great amount of car control, but nothing could be further from the truth. Now, is it the same as, uh, as a sprint car or a MotoGP bike? You know, maybe not, but these cars move around and you have to be in front of them mentally all the time, and you've got to be a total professional on the starting line to leave on time and have that experience and that will to win. sure if Tyler Hilton didn't think he was racing the pair behind him. Um, his reaction time, let's just be blunt, left a little bit desired. Dusty Green always, as per usual, cuts a very reasonable light, close to 592 at 240 miles an hour. Hi, I'm Adam Sorokin. I'm from La Crescenta, California, and I drive the Champion Speed Shop Top Fuel Dragster. I'd like to draw your attention to a new body panel that has just been painted. We are hoping that it stays this way through the entire weekend. Hey, my name is Brett Williamson. I drive a Top Fuel car for Ever Young for Mike and Sharon Fuller. I also drive Pro Mod car out here for Dave Dolan and his wife. Well, I guess I can say it on camera. They call me the driver slut. I would be the driver prostitute, but I don't get paid to do this. I'm just a driver. I first come out here and do what I do. <laughs> Up now is the Champion Speed Shop with Adam Sorokin. Um, the car has been improving a little bit, but it still hasn't found the performance this car can be famous for. They're up against Brett Williamson and Mike Fuller's Forever Young entry. Arguably, Williamson's Pro Mod has been running quicker than either one of these fuelers. <laughs> yeah, and that's, that's not good. There's still two really good teams. Um, you know, Brett, uh, I've gotten to know him just a tiny bit. Yeah. You know, I didn't know him at all before coming to these races, and uh, I really like him. He's a unique character, and he's a real racer. And so is Adam. Adam is a guy I've always liked. I haven't known him that well either, but you know, just a guy with a great sense of humor, and uh, he's arguably one of the best guys in the sport, in my opinion, in the whole sport. Like, he could go over and drive anything. But yeah. somebody is going over and driving anything, and that's Brett Williamson. He just got back from making a pass in his Pro Mod car, so he hot laps it back to the starting line in his golf cart and then jumps in the top fuel car. Yeah, and that's very tough to do, apparently. I've never done that, and I wouldn't want to, but right. it says a lot about the kind of racer he is. He wants to just drive anything. And that's cool. We do have two fierce competitors, two dyed in the wool, down to their toenails, fierce drag racers. And you gotta love this kind of competition. You gotta love these kind of showdowns. I really like the Champion Speed Shop team and the way they work, the guys there, you know, and their single-minded focus when they come to these races. It's all part-time, but man, they are so pro and they're here to win. Adam Sorokin left on him, and Adam Sorokin turns a 589 and disposes or dispatches Brett Williamson, who 
was in the mix uh, for a while. Uh, ultimately, clocks a losing ET of 617 at 199 miles an hour. Adam Sorokin is going rounds. Brett Williamson will now be able to focus exclusively on his Pro Mod car. I'm Jim Murphy out of Santa Rosa, California. I drive the W 2 Nostalgia Top Fuel Dragster. Last night I got my nose burnt a little bit in the fire, but I'm planning uh, tonight and tomorrow to burn everyone else's other end. My name is Phil Ruskowski. I'm from Victoria, BC, on the southern tip of Vancouver Island. This is the Exhibitionist a Small Block Chev Fuel Dragster. I'm a lucky guy. I race with some friends that I grew up with. We've been doing it for over 30 years as friends, just having a ball. I would hate to be Phil Ruskowski now if you're here to win. If you're here to have fun and drive a front engine top fuel car, then it's cool. Well, maybe Phil is having fun just making laps, but Jim Murphy and Roland Leong are not having any fun unless they're winning. That's right. So they have to make sure that they don't do something untoward. They don't outsmart themselves. I hate to summon bad mojo, but last year, if not the year before, Jim Murphy was facing Tony Bartone, and Bartone smoked the tires, and Murphy red lit. Yeah, well, that stuff happens, but, you know, right now, Murphy and those guys, I mean, yeah, they are on a roll, but they, they did have a pretty harrowing experience Friday night here in qualifying, where the thing blew up, and, uh, and Jim got slightly singed around his eyes, around on his face. And, uh, but as Roland said, you know, he messed up, and uh, that wasn't me. So now, you know, there's still the car to beat, uh, pretty much. Well, Murphy did, in fact, get his eyes burned, but he said he's going to put the burn to the competition for the rest of the meet. Ruskowski goes red, and Murphy puts up a blistering 575 at 252 miles an hour. So far, top speed of the meet, absolutely punishing top end charge. That thing was on an absolute rail, coast to coast. Yeah, that was a good looking pass. Very good run for the first round. Well, we'll look for Ruskowski in Bakersfield at the end of the season, and we will look for Jim Murphy in the next round. I'm Mindy Fry, driver of the High Speed Motorsports AA Fuel Dragster out of Anaheim, California. Fun fact about me, I'm the world's fastest CPA, so I guess that means I'm the biggest dork on wheels. Well, maybe behind Tyler Hill. So our last pair is actually not a pair. It's, it's a solo run. It's a single. Because and Tony Bartone's invisible over there. <laughs> the, there is, in fact, a missing man formation. Uh, meanwhile, Mindy Fry doesn't care if there's somebody in the other lane or not. She concentrates on her race and not anybody else's. When you have the opportunity to have a single, it, it's a huge deal because you automatically win and go to the next round. But not only that, it's a free run for mm -hmm. testing. Um, you know, it's what John Force had all those years when Tony Pedregon would lay down for him. It's basically a test run, and you get to go test the track right. and say it's in the semifinals. Austin Quill could, yeah. could push the envelope and see, okay, are we going to smoke the tires here or not? Right. And it's the same thing now. You know, Tom Shilar, the crew chief and owner of this team, has a chance to, to do his magic, right. and, and he won't lose anything. So... The missing man is taking a dive, if I'm following your logic. Uh, <laughs> well, a free run is a free run is a free run. Okay. okay. Very nice. If you own the car in the other lane and you need your free run, then that car is going to lose. Period. And we've seen it forever, even though it was in the rule book that you couldn't do that. Well, let's see what she makes of this run. Um, it, it's a freebie, like you say. She's playing with house money, and uh, they can get aggressive with a clutch and, and see where they're at. or. Oh man, she's way out of the groove, and that car gets completely sideways, and luckily she deploys the chutes and straightens it up a little bit, but uh, she nearly hit the wall, which 
would have been the end of her day regardless. I mean, if you can find a way to lose without an opponent, that's about the only way to do it. Well, it's not like Ron Colson racing for Roland Leong in 1978, and he's on a single, and he crosses the center line, and he's at Indy. Yes, only at Indy. Anyway, the win goes to Mindy Fry, albeit unopposed. Coming back, we'll have semifinals from Firebird Raceway and the 46th Pepsi Nightfire Nationals. Got it.